Hello students. So in this class, we'll start with again numericals. So problem statement of the numerical is the unit step response of a linear control system is as shown in figure. Find the transfer function of a second order prototype system to model system. Right. So this is what the response of a system C of T versus T. So T in seconds, which is shown in figure. So the information given in this here is. The maximum value of uh, response of a system occurred at uh, 0 0.01 second. So this will be what? TP. So maximum value of uh, this uh, response is 1.25. So this is the reference. What they have shown is one, what? One unity input. So this uh, difference is results in what? 1.25 minus one is what? 0.25. So this is what the peak overshoot, right? So this is all of the what information given from the figure. So you can write uh, that MP peak overshoot as 1.25 minus 1. So that results in 0.25. This is what the peak overshoot. From the diagram, uh, we can also write that uh, TP equal to 0 0.01 seconds. So then we have uh, MP formula for that uh, peak overshoot is uh, E raised to minus pi zeta by under root 1 minus zeta square. So which is equal to 0 0.25 from the uh, diagram, right? So now take a line on both sides. Land with base E <coughs> e raised to minus phi zeta by under root 1 minus zeta square, which is equal to land of 0.25. If I take land, so right hand side I'm getting as uh, minus 1.386. So left hand side minus phi zeta by under root 1 minus zeta square. If you solve for zeta, so you get what 0.4 as an answer. This is the damping ratio. So now also we have the formula for uh, peak time so that is tp equal to pi by omega d omega d is can be replaced with the omega n under root 1 minus zeta square so we have the values of this point uh, 0 1 of tp that is from the diagram right so equate that value so then get the value for what omega n so omega n we are uh, getting as uh, 342.76 radians per second so from these values so we can easily write the system prototype that is transfer function C of S by R of S as we have the standard uh, second order system equation as omega n square by S square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. We have the value of omega n as well as zeta also. Substitute here. So we'll get uh, 342.76 whole square whole divided by S square plus 2 into 0.4 into 342.76 S plus 342.76 whole square. So this is what the prototype and system. So in the form of C of S, C of S by R of S. This is what the solution for the required this numerical. So next one, we'll move on to the next numerical. Problem statement goes in this way. Find the error coefficient Kp, Kv, and K for the system having G of S is equal to 10 by S square plus 2S plus 9 and H of S equal to 0.2. So this kind of numerical uh, solved already. So let us look into how exactly the solution goes. So we know uh, G of S, H of S equal to 10 into 0.2 divided by S square plus 2S plus 9, which is equal to 2 by S square plus 2S plus 9. So we, we know that uh, uh, formula for Kp is equal to limit S tends to 0, 2 by S square plus 2S plus 9. So if I apply S tends to 0 here, so I'll get the value as Kp 2 by 9. Similarly, if you want to calculate Kv, so we have the formula limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s. See here if I apply the limit as s tends to 0 here, s is in the numerator. So overall results in what? 0. Similarly, a ka, we have the formula limit s tends to 0 s square, 2 by s square plus 2s plus 9. So if I apply the again the limit as s tends to 0, again I'll get the ka value as 0. Yes, uh, move on to the next numerical further. Find the value of uh, k1 so that zeta will be 0.35 find the corresponding time domain specifications so the given block diagram consists of r of s and c of s so g of s value here is uh, 25 by s s plus 3 and feedback element is having the value k1s one more feedback value has having unity right so if you simplify using block diagram reduction technique so this results in what g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so this answer is again unity feedback with what one so that we are observing here that 25 bar yes yes plus 3 
plus 25 k1 s if you solve this one 25 by s square plus 25 k1 plus 3 s so this is what the solution of uh, intermediate simplification of the uh, blocks using block diagram reduction technique further if we compare those uh, equations with the standard one we can write uh, easily omega n square equal to 25 so therefore omega n will be 5 radians per second right similarly we can equate with a standard equation so that is 2 zeta omega n equal to 25 k1 plus 3 so here we got uh, omega n as uh, 5 radians per second so if i substitute omega n here you can easily find out that uh, k1 value here so we know the zeta value also they have given 0.35 after that you will get k1 as what 0 0.02 further if you know the value of omega n so you can easily calculate omega d also by using the formula omega n under root 1 minus zeta square substitute the value of omega n as well as zeta so you will get omega d as 4.68 radians per second after this one we need to calculate uh, time domain specifications of second order system so let us calculate the time domain specification the first one is td that is delay time which is given as 5 plus 0.7 zeta by omega n which is equal to 0.6774 seconds so this is what the delay time next uh, we need to find uh, rise time also so formula for rise time tr will be pi minus theta by omega d so this theta will be in the form of uh, radians so that we have calculate uh, using uh, tan inverse of under root 1 minus zeta square by zeta so if you substitute that values so we'll get 0 0.412 seconds next tp so that is a peak time which is given as pi by omega d which is equal to 0 0.671 seconds by substituting omega d value omega d is what 4.68 radians per second next uh, settling time so settling time so we have the formula that is 4 by zeta omega n substitute the value of zeta and omega n so that results in 2.2 seconds then last uh, time specification is mp peak overshoot we have the formula e raised to minus zeta pi by under root 1 minus zeta square substitute the value of zeta here so we'll get mp as 30.91 percentage so these all are the time domain specification of second order system td tr tp ts and mp let us uh, start solving the next numerical so problem statement of this numerical is system given the figure with the entity feedback with a minor loop uh, and in that first sub question in absence of derivative feedback that is a equal to zero determine the damping ratio and undamped natural frequency we need to find zeta as well as omega n second uh, sub question determine the constant a which will increase the damping ratio to 0.7 third question find the peak overshoot in both the cases right so this is the solution uh, this is the what uh, sub questions in that main question right so see the diagram here so this was the diagram given r of s is here so then 8 by s square plus 28 a s so this is the c of s with the unity feedback right so this is what the given diagram so from the diagram we can write when a is equal to 0 for the first solution so g of s will become 8 by s into s plus 2 so in that case h of s is 1 therefore c of s by r of s will be 8 by s s plus 2 whole divided by 1 plus 8 by s s plus 2 right so this results in what then omega n square equal to 8 omega n will be under root 8 radians per second similarly we can write 2 zeta omega n equal to 2 therefore zeta will be 0 0.3535 right in the second case when a is not equal to 0 when a is not equal to 0 means c of s by r of s will be 8 by s square plus 2 plus 8 a s whole divided by 1 plus 8 by s square plus 2 plus 8 a into s into 1 so this results in 8 by s square plus 2 plus 8 a s plus 8 so by comparing with these uh, with a standard equation omega n square equal to 8 so that results in omega n equal to under root 8 radians per second. Similarly, so you can write these also condition 
2 zeta omega n is equal to 2 plus 8a. Since given zeta is uh, 0 0.7, so you can uh, write the value of a as 0.2449, right? So in the third sub question, for zeta equal to 0 0.3535, what is the value of p cosho? So MP will be e raised to minus phi zeta by under root 1 minus zeta square into 100. This results in 30.91. So in the second case, for uh, zeta is equal to 0.7, so what is the value of P go shoot? That is MP2. So e raised to minus phi zeta by under root 1 minus zeta square into 100. So that results in 4.5 percentage. So this is what the solution for the question. We'll stop it here. So the rest of the things we'll discuss in the next class.